The vision of the Diabetes Center Bern is rather simple. We want to improve the life for us people living with diabetes. What that means is we foster innovation, we help startups to bring their products to the market. Diabetes technology matters. You need to understand where your blood glucose levels are, you need to inject insulin, you need to treat yourself and therefore throughout the whole journey of treatment the technology is the fundament, the basis. At DCB we focus on different types of diabetes technology. One is sensing and glucose sensing. We do focus on artificial intelligence and big data and we also focus on insulin delivery systems as well as digital solutions for diabetes management. Usually we start with a patient-oriented research question and then we develop a device, a research device and once we have this device we sooner or later talk to industry partners to try to bring that device into practice. Partners could be medical device manufacturers or also pharma companies um, but also people who are interested in maybe building a startup. We believe to have access to funding, experts and mentorship is crucial for a successful founding of a startup. Therefore, we want to yeah, provide this at DCB, to have a place for all of the fund founders all over the world to yeah, get this access, to get this funding opportunities, to get mentorship. A big part of fostering new innovative technologies is our innovation challenge, where we try and encourage people, researchers and startups to share their ideas with us. We ask startup companies, innovators, but also people living with diabetes to submit their ideas and then throughout this journey we will help them to optimize their offering, the product, the treatment. There is for one side the regulatory roadmap which is very important but also to clinically evaluate a medical device and to translate the idea from the bench side to the bed side. We consult and we support startups and companies and also academic partners to conduct studies following good clinical practice guidelines and uh, improve the quality of their studies. So besides hardware, we also develop algorithms um, to analyze data that we gather from people with diabetes. This includes, for example, data from wearable sensors, so for example, activity, but also physiological parameters. And then we also have room-based sensors, um, for example, radar sensors, that we use um, to detect motion of people during sleep, with the goal to build a hypoglycemia warning system. So what we do here is to um, create novel algorithms that are able to not only get the desired time in glucose range, but also minimize the time below range. Also minimizing the time above range. So basically guaranteeing that our participants or our subjects are in a, as much as tight glucose control as possible. Almost every medical device is smart nowadays, especially in the diabetes area. We have CGMs, we have apps, we have smart pens. And for us, for our data science team at DCB, our aim is really to make sense or to generate knowledge out of this massive amount of data. So we all know that in diabetes management there are increasing number of apps or closed loop systems. They all work uh, with, or most of them work with machine learning, so it's not uh, simple regression models, but it's really complex models that are difficult to understand and also difficult to prove that they work but it's also very important to show that they are working and this is also one aspect that we are very interested on to find out what how can we develop models to assess the performance of the system. Building a community around the development of new products in diabetes technology is of paramount importance. Usually research has the regard that the community to create new systems. And the problem is that our clinical trials are typically without any diversity whatsoever. So we have just the exact same population studied over and over and over again, and we no generalizable conclusions. Living with an invisible illness can be lonely sometimes and can be frightening sometimes, but it led me the way to one of the most supportive community out there, the diabetes community. And together with this community and all the innovators and mentors, 
I truly believe we built something special up here to change the living with diabetes. Well, I hope in 15 to 20 years we have a more developed solutions, hopefully ultra-concentrated insulins that make the recharging or re reloading of the cartridges like a more occasional issue, perhaps uh, implanted uh, insulin pumps, perhaps like sensors lasting way longer than they last today, and uh, basically the user forgetting they have diabetes. It just means that patients don't have to waste so much time thinking about their condition. It means that you don't have to go up several times a night to manage your blood glucose and you can sleep through the night, for example. Diabetes technology in the next 10 to 20 years will be very discreet. You will not automatically see that the person in front of you is a person living with diabetes, but you will have tools and, and technologies uh, which help you to optimize your treatment, help you to stay longer time during the day in normal ranges and therefore have a positive outcome. At the same time, less waste and therefore also positive impact for the world. Mm -hmm.